everyone, it's Sharon Elston, the Spice Lady, with another episode of Eating Healthy and Loving It. So I was at the grocery store picking up my vegetables. I was running out, so I had to replenish them. And I saw some dandelion leaves. Dandelion leaves are extremely, I mean, I'm talking on the edge, healthy for you. Okay, like if you're looking for something to boost everything in your system you can possibly imagine, it's going to be dandelion. They come in big clumps like this, humongous, and that's one of the things that I thought, huh, you know, for less than three dollars I can get a whole bunch of dandelion leaves and uh, it's going to create a side dish for a number of meals. You can go ahead and forage dandelion leaves in your backyard, your front yard, wherever they grow, just as long as they're not sprayed with any pesticides or uh, you know, excrement from uh, animals, etc., outside, outdoors. Yeah. They'll be part of the sunflower family, uh, and the way that you would use them is like a bitter grain. These have been cultivated for sale at your grocery store, so I know that they are fine and uh, ready to roll in terms of what we're going to do. Uh, dandelion leaves are very, very bitter. The big guys are extremely bitter. You want to look for pale little guys and those are the ones that are tastier. Um, what you can do to counteract this bitterness is you can uh, chop them up and you can make them part of a salad and you can mix them with romaine or baby greens, uh, whatever you have that aren't bitter and then they kind of get lost in the shuffle and it's kind of like peppery arugula kind of a flavor. But for me, I want to cook them and I'm going to show you how to do that. I just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like first before I wash them because they can be a little bit dirty with the soil so I'm going to have to take this and really do a good job of washing them. Everything on a dandelion stalk, root, leaf, flower is edible. In fact, the uh, yellow flower kind of has uh, a sweet flavor to it. You don't really see those sold in the stores. Uh, so if you want to start cultivating your own uh, dandelion, uh, that would be a good idea. So I've washed off a little bit of the stock. I'm gonna taste it and see how bitter they are or how good they taste. Actually, they're very tasty. They're not bitter at all. They taste kind of like celery. To clean dandelion, you would take a big salad spinner or a stainless steel bowl or glass bowl as big as you can find and you're just going to take the stalks and cut them off and put them in to the water and you're going to wash it and rinse it and over and over maybe 10 times before you get all the grit off and you're going to take these leaves and you're going to chop them up this is what it looks like and we're going to wash and rinse wash and rinse wash and rinse now I have my dandelion greens all washed up and ready to, to cook with them. We're going to take these dandelion greens and we're going to divide them on these sheets of tin foil. And I want to make sure I have those stems because they're very tasty. Uh, so we're going to put that on some stems on here. We're going to put some of the greens on there too. The thing about dandelion greens is that they're just so healthy. You don't want to worry about the bitterness. You do want to eat them and you want them to taste really good. I have divided the leaves and the stalks amongst this tin foil, so you can see. Now, what I've done here is I've taken uh, about eight to 10 big cloves of garlic and I've sliced them, so I take this and I slice it up very thin. Um, and what you're going to do is take this bitterness and kind of trick your taste buds by putting aromatics like uh, onion and we're just going to layer it over. And, and I'm talking, you don't, you want to be liberal, not just a little bit of onion, but a lot. Because what's going to happen is once we put these into the oven, we're going to be roasting them up and the onions are going to become all caramelized and soft, you know, kind of like what you like an onion ring. And now we're going to add some sliced garlic, quite a bit of sliced garlic. I don't know, I'm putting in three large mushrooms in, in this. And 
I'm cutting them big because I want the mushrooms to hold up to the oven as it roasts because we've got the heat very high. It's uh, 420 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I have a yellow pepper and I'm just gonna cut it into little small dice. But the reason that I'm doing it small is I just want a little bit of that flavor kind of dotted throughout this whole mixture. So we're just gonna layer those on too. Uh, those are our vegetables. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Himalayan sea salt, not a whole lot, but that's gonna also enhance what we've got going here. Okay, and we've got some telecherry peppercorns, the king of peppercorns, so you wanna put some of this on. And then we're gonna take some rosemary sprigs, okay? And I'm gonna take the rosemary off of the sprigs. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> What you need to understand is because these dandelions uh, leaves are bitter, you want to get bold, strong flavors to take away from that bitter bitterness. Now, I want to take these um, rosemary and I'm just going to chop them up a little bit so I can sprinkle them all over and they're not off-putting with the texture. I find rosemary gives a, a finer flavor to food. And then you're just going to sprinkle this on. So this is going to give these dandelion leaves a little bit of sophistication because that's what I feel rosemary kind of reminds me of. When you bite into a fresh piece of uh, dandelion, it kind of smells like spring is in the air. Just like you've walked out and you're smelling the fresh lawn being freshly cut. That's what it tastes like. So it is a very lovely flavor uh, like that. But the, then you get the hit of the bitter, and you're thinking, yeah, I don't know about that. Anyway, so now I've got this, and I'm just going to make it kind of in a long row uh, on the sheet. And then I'm going to hit it with some delicious olive oil, because that's also going to make it taste all, you know, Mediterranean and silky flavors. So you're going to just drizzle the top, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil and then you're going to roll this up. You're going to put it in this long thin lengthwise pocket and, up, and just roll up the end. So I don't really close the whole thing up 100%. I'm just going to roll them up and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put it in um, to a oven that's uh, 420 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to have it in there for about half an hour. You don't want to have it less than that because you want your onions to, and your garlic to get all cooked up and, and caramelized and it takes that amount of time. So there you go. I've got my packet. So our dandelion greens have done their thing. I'm going to check out the little packet to see what they look like and they look delicious. I'll have a little bit of a bite of everything with these things. I'm hungry and this really smells so good. It smells like fine dining because of the rosemary. It smells very garlicky in a good way. No bitterness, all went away. Tastes decadent. Extremely healthy. We're gonna be listing some of the health properties so that you'll wanna eat dandelion greens all the time. They come out in the spring and in the summer and that's when you're gonna find them and you're gonna love them. Well, it's Sharon Elston bidding you adieu. Bye bye until next time. Love you.